Stop, 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 stop. It's doing away, it's doing away, it's doing away. <laughs> that was so bad! That was so bad! Oh my god. Hey guys, anyone learning to drive, please check out my driving course. There are 38 easy to understand videos on every single topic required to pass the driving test. Just watch the video before your driving lesson related to the topic you are covering on that day. This will give you the correct knowledge on that subject and you'll know exactly what you're supposed to do so you can get into the car fully prepared. This will definitely save you time and money on your driving lessons. And to get a free sample of a video in the ultimate driving course, please watch this video that I recently uploaded. The link is in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have Aisha and Aisha's um, come here for a mock test. She's not been having driving lessons with me. So Aisha, where are you from? Huddersfield. Read from Huddersfield, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell us a bit about your driving. How many lessons have you had? Um, so I've done around 30 hours. 30 hours, yeah? yeah two okay. hour lessons. All two hour lessons? Yeah. And do you feel you're ready for your test? Um, I think this will help me see if I am okay. ready for it. Okay, that's fine. And um, so, is there anything in your driving that you feel you're not fully ready with or um, you need to work on more? I would say maybe roundabouts. Roundabouts? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do. Yeah. We'll see how you get on with roundabouts. We'll okay. see how you get on with everything, yeah. Okay. So, guys, for any of you that haven't seen the videos before, um, Aisha hasn't been having driving lessons with me. She just um, met me today so I can assess her driving. And any of you that would, would like a mock test, these mock tests are totally free because obviously you guys allow me to put them on, uh, upload them on YouTube. And um, I can pick you up from Wolverhampton train station. So even if you're not quite local, um, uh, just contact me on well, where did you contact me on snapchat wasn't snapchat, it, yeah? yeah snapchat or instagram you guys can contact me and um if i've got availability i'll book him for a mock test and um i should obviously you've watched the videos before yeah? yeah okay so i won't say the faults as they happen yeah but for the video obviously i do age them and explain the faults just before they're about to happen huh? and the serious faults um how many serious faults are you allowed no none good <laughs> and they will be highlighted in um, red text and the normal driving faults, which some people call the minor faults. How many are you laid of those? Is it 14 or 15? Yeah, 15, yeah. Okay, no more than that. Yeah. Okay, um, so we're going to start now, yeah? Um, show me, tell me questions. Have you been through those with your... I've been through them really briefly. Okay. Um, so... I know a few. Okay. I'm going to ask Aisha a tell me question. She gets this wrong. So... Last one, yeah. Let's see how you let's see how you get on with it. Okay, so um, could you explain to me how the power assisted steering works? Um, how you know it's working? How? It, yeah, I just explain. Is it when you <clears throat> when you drive off it should it, like pull to one side? Uh, no, that's the no. brakes. Oh, I don't know. No. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Um, so basically, what you do is so you know the steering wheel there, yeah. When the yeah. car's off, it's basically quite stiff and it doesn't move freely yeah. yeah when you start the car yeah you apply a bit of pressure and you start the so you start the engine and it should move a lot lighter and freely yeah okay okay yeah. right so uh, whenever you're ready if you could move off for me please Did you put the clutch on, turn it off? yeah oh you're going and, and another thing uh i should never driven this car before so um again that doesn't make it any easier does it yeah? <laughs> so whenever you're ready move off please We won't be following the sat nav, I'll be giving you directions, yeah. Okay. okay. At the end of the road, turn right. When emerging at the end of this road, Aisha rushes out. The view is restricted, so she should have stopped at the giveaway line and creeped forwards to get a better view. But instead, she takes a quick glance and goes into the road. There were no vehicles coming from the right. If there were, then we would have blocked their path and this would have been a serious driving fault.
Aisha does good mirror checks before changing direction to overtake the parked vehicles. When stopping, Aisha goes onto the pavement. And when securing the vehicle, Aisha doesn't fully apply the handbrake, so the vehicle rolls back slightly. And move off whenever you're ready, please. She carries out good observations before moving off including the right blind spot check. At this right turn, Aisha makes a fair serious driving fault. She approaches the turn well. We can see that there is just one lane for us and another lane for oncoming vehicles. Even though we have seen a couple of vehicles in the oncoming lane, Aisha decides to move into that lane because she thought there were two lanes. So I had to intervene and ask her to stay in our lane. Stay this side. It's only one lane for you to turn, yeah? Okay, very When stopping at these lights, Aisha stops too far back from the stop lane. This left turn she does well, she keeps good control and doesn't coast. Now I'll ask Aisha to park up and then carry out the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. And if you could carry out the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre please using that silver car in front of you. Aisha starts off with good observations and continues these good observations throughout the manoeuvre. She 
She also checks the right blind spot before the front of the vehicle swings out. Now Aisha touches the curb. She decides to go forward and readjust, which is good. She does everything well when readjusting. The vehicle is now in a good position from the curb and all Aisha has to do is continue reversing. But instead of reversing, she decides to go forward and steers too much to the left, so the front tyre hits the curb. As soon as she does that, she decides to stop. We finish too close to the vehicle in front, which results in getting really close to the vehicle when we move off. Jen? Yeah. Okay, move off when you're ready then, please. This is an uphill junction. When emerging at an uphill junction, it's important to prepare your vehicle before you stop at the end. Aisha should select gear one a bit earlier and use clutch control on the approach. I demonstrate and talk you through exactly how to deal with these uphill junctions in the ultimate driving course. Aisha stalls the vehicle when attempting to move off because she isn't using the gas pedal and is rushing off the clutch. She stalls twice but this isn't a serious driving fault as it is no one behind us and she keeps good control of the vehicle. On her third attempt there is a vehicle behind but Aisha managed to move off without stalling. If she did stall again then this would have turned into a serious driving fault. Even after selecting gear 2, Aisha rushes off the clutch pedal. This is a common thing in her driving and we do talk about this at the end of the test. Here Aisha signals too early. There is a road on our right so she should have waited until we had passed before signalling. When emerging right, if there is a vehicle approaching from the left that wants to turn into the road you are emerging out from, then always let that vehicle fully turn into the road before you start to move. Aisha begins to move as that vehicle is still turning into the road. She gets quite close to that vehicle, any closer and it would have been a serious driving fault.
As we stop here, Aisha's braking is a bit harsh. This happens a few times and Aisha is aware of this as she tells me during the feedback at the end. Whenever we're waiting, Aisha has a habit of taking both hands off the steering wheel. It's good to keep your hands on the steering wheel. Just in case the vehicle did hit you from behind, you would have some control. But Aisha uses this time to sort out her hair. When approaching a pedestrian crossing, you should always look out for pedestrians and anticipate that the lights may change if there is a pedestrian waiting. Aisha doesn't anticipate, therefore our braking is late. Aisha shows good awareness by noticing the giveaway signs and markings and carries out good observations. After moving off at the lights, Aisha drifts over to the right hand lane slightly. There is a cyclist ahead. When overtaking a cyclist at a speed of above 30 miles an hour, you should leave around 2 meters of space. So Aisha should have checked the mirrors and moved into the right hand lane. But she gets too close to the cyclist, so I had to intervene. Steer away. To your left of these lights, please. After these lights, there are giveaway markings, so it's important to look to the right before entering the new road. Aisha does his observations well. Aisha puts her clutch down to select gear 2, but then decides to leave it in gear 1. She brings her clutch up too fast again, and because we're in gear 1, it slows our vehicle down. At this roundabout, Aisha makes another serious driving fault. As we approach the roundabout, there are vehicles on the right that are waiting to enter the roundabout and head towards us. But those vehicles are being blocked by the vehicles you can see emerging from the left, so this means it's safe for us to enter. Aisha doesn't enter, 
so I have to ask her to go. I think a lot of learners find it challenging when judging a safe gap at a busy roundabout. There is a section in the ultimate driving course on this subject. Okay, we can go. Here, Aisha gets a bit too close to the parked vehicles. Aisha gets a serious driving fault for awareness and planning. Now this one's a difficult one. The vehicle in front signals left, so Aisha assumes it will be turning left. But that vehicle has actually signaled to park up in the parking area on the left. Aisha didn't notice, so I had to ask her to stop. Stop, 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 stop. We have another serious driving fault coming up now, which involves an emergency vehicle. There is an ambulance parked up on the left with the side door open. Aisha gets really close, so I ask her to steer away. Now we're entering a one-way street and at the end we'll be turning right, so we should use the right-hand lane. Aisha selects the correct lane and shows good control when moving off on the uphill road. End of the road. Turn right. At this left turn, Aisha keeps the clutch down. Now I'm going to ask Aisha to carry out an emergency stop. She does make a serious driving fault when doing it. At the end of the test, she tells me that she hasn't practiced this with her instructor and it was her first time. Okay, we'll be carrying out this. To stop shortly. <coughs> stop. After stopping in an emergency, you should secure the vehicle by applying the handbrake and selecting neutral. And before moving off, check all around, including both blind spots. Aisha doesn't carry out the correct observations before moving off. Um, move off when you're ready, please. After moving off at these lights, Aisha selects the left lane and does good mirror checks.
Now the two lanes merge into one. We are in the left lane, so it's important to check the centre and right mirrors to ensure no one is overtaking as the lanes merge. Aisha doesn't check the mirrors. When turning right at these traffic lights, Aisha makes another serious driving fault. These are filter traffic lights, and as many people do, Aisha sees the green arrow appear and starts to move off. But that green arrow is only for those who are continuing straight ahead. The light for traffic turning right is still red. So we'll be taking that first turning on the right hand there, yeah? Stop, stop. So these lights aren't moving, yeah? The Lena car on our left is signalling right to move off and there is an oncoming vehicle so Aisha decides to stop which is good. Then the Lena cancels the right signal. It's important to assess before you apply a signal as this could be confusing in a situation like this. After overtaking again Aisha brings the clutch up too fast after changing gear. At this roundabout, Aisha keeps a good position and exits onto the right hand lane which is good because we are turning right again at the next roundabout. There's another roundabout after this one and we still use right again. But before exiting, Aisha doesn't check the mirrors enough. She should be checking the centre and left mirrors as she reaches the second exit so she is aware of her surroundings before exiting the roundabout. She checks the mirrors too late. Again at this roundabout she keeps a good position but there are not enough mirror checks. Now she exits onto the right hand lane. The right hand lane on a dual carriageway is for turning right or overtaking so she should move into the left lane when it's safe. Aisha does this safely. At this roundabout there is traffic waiting to turn left, so Aisha decides to overtake which is good. But when she moves over into the right hand lane, there is a vehicle overtaking. The lane is quite wide and we don't really affect the overtaking vehicle so it's not a serious driving fault.
When turning right here, we have a choice of two lanes. Aisha selects the right hand lane. It is okay to use that lane, but now she should stick to that lane and then move back over to the left after the turn. During the turn, Aisha drifts over to the left lane. There is another vehicle approaching in the left lane, so this would be a serious driving fault. At this right turn, Aisha approaches and positions well. After the ambulance, there are two vehicles turning left. Normally at a crossroad, you would wait for those vehicles to turn as they have priority. But at this junction, those vehicles have a separate turning just before the lights. Aisha could have gone sooner. Now I'm going to ask Aisha one of the show me questions. Can you show me how to demiss the back screen please? She presses the wrong button. Now we're back at the test centre, let's get Aisha's thoughts on how she thinks the test went. And you should park on the left please. And switch off the engine for me please. Okay Aisha, how do you think you did? That was really bad, wasn't it? What was bad? Okay, firstly, when I was doing my manoeuvre, I went on the curb, didn't I? Uh, you didn't go on the curb. Oh. You, you touched it gently. And then there was a lot of harsh braking as well. Yeah, the harsh <laughs> braking. So <coughs> it should be a bit, bit smoother. Like those kind yeah. of faults, they don't really, um, like in terms of your test, yeah. it's not really going to fail you if you brake yeah. a bit harsh. Yeah. Okay. The car that I was learning in, the brake was a lot less sensitive. Okay. Um, but the way you bring the clutch up as well? Yeah. Like, how do you feel that was? Like, Sometimes it was a bit jewelry. Like yeah. when I was going first to second. Yeah, what, why do you think, you, like you said, you, always, you said it was a bit jittery? Too quickly, yeah, yeah, too quickly. Yeah, be a bit slower on that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that was happening um, constantly throughout the test of sharp braking and, yeah. and, and the clutch. It's nothing dangerous, yeah. yeah. Okay, but it's not much of a smooth drive, is it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, any other faults that you think you might have done that were serious? Um, that roundabout as well. Which one? Um, where there was like cars coming from there and I was waiting for the right. Yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was I just meant to go there? Yeah, so um, you know when you said you need a bit of work on roundabout, sure. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. <laughs> do. Yeah. Do you find it hard to sometimes judge if it's safe to go or not? I don't know. I feel like when I'm on it, I actually panic and like about which exit to take. I think I'm not that bad about getting on it. Yeah, exit wise, you didn't really mess up your exits, yeah? Okay, okay on one of the rounds, you got to position to the left a bit sooner, yeah? Okay, okay you know, when you're rotating right. But, I'm uh, a cyclist. Yeah, let's yeah. finish talking about that roundabout, yeah. yeah. That roundabout, you know, you obviously you have to look to the right way for the cars on the right, yeah? yeah. But the cars that were, were entering the roundabout from that first exit, and oh, they, they'd yeah. have to give way to me, anyways. Yeah, those, so they were basically blocking. Everyone, yeah, yeah, and yet they would have to give way to you once you've entered mm. the round of it. So, you know, somewhere to ask you to go there, and that would be a serious for hesitation, mm. yeah, yeah, okay. So, just understanding um, a bit more about priorities on um, on roundabouts yeah. like that, yeah, okay. Um, at the start, so, um, when we when I should turn right at the lights, so you're waiting behind the car, yeah, oh. which is fine. Then, 
What were you? What did you? Were you going to turn right into that road, or were you going to get into the next lane? I thought there was two right lanes. I don't know oh, why. Okay. So I started going there, and then yeah, that was there's only one lane yeah. though. Yeah. Okay. So the that obviously that was a serious fault. Yeah. Um. Yeah. With the reverse parking manoeuvre, if you touch the curb, yeah, it's it's not a it's not a serious driving fault unless unless you mount it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then you did the correct thing. You moved forward. Yeah. And then you readjusted. Then what you do was keep reversing back. I just gave up. I thought I'd like messed uh-huh. it up. And then, so you went, like... then you went forward and then touched the curb again yeah. at, the, at the front. And then where you stopped, like, how much gap are you are you allowed to keep from the vehicle in front when you finish up? It's two. Just oh. even if you keep one full, no. you're allowed to keep one full car length from the front of your car uh, to the to the back of that car. Yeah, and we were like really close. Yeah. And you moved off as well. It was a, you made it a lot harder for yourself. Yeah. Uh, but overall, your observations weren't that bad. You kept checking your blind spot, checking yeah. around before you readjusted. But you need a few more checks out the back as well. Okay. Okay. So never give up on any of the mirrors. Okay. So <laughs> if if you feel you messed up, just do your observations and just readjust like you were doing. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else was there? Stalling. Yeah. You, but you you kind of sorted it. I thought you were going to yeah. give up there. You're looking at the help or something. Yeah, I was going to give you one more attempt, but you did it in the end yeah. because the first couple of times you stole, there was no one directly yeah. behind us. So yeah. you're okay with it. And then yeah. someone came behind us. Yeah, but at that time you actually yeah. you moved off. Okay. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of good as- aspects to your driving, like looking out for um, being aware of the signs, which a lot of people, miss, especially that give way at one of the yeah. junctions where you where you look to the right. Yeah. yeah. Um, changing lanes, making sure checking your mirrors, even looking over your shoulder. That part's good. But like with that cyclist as well, I, I just feel, you know, when you have a couple of things you need to focus on, yeah. that's that's when you mess up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there was a cyclist there and I, uh, our team was coming up. I said yeah. to you, uh, at the traffic lights were turning left. So you focus in your mirrors and signal the cyclist there as well. Yeah. I didn't realize he was so close. Yeah. He it was, it was very yeah. close. Yeah. Okay. I could move you, I had to move you over to the right yeah. lane because there was no one there. There was somebody in the right lane who had to go for the break there. Yeah. So uh, when you have to handle like one thing at a time, it's not bad, but when you have a few things to focus on, so yeah, you could do with a few more lessons. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with the cyclist, what else was there? We talked about the roundabout. Um, clearance, a couple of times you got really close to parked cars. Then one time, remember when the ambulance and police car was parked oh, yeah. up? Yeah. I asked you to, the ambulance door was open yeah. as well. So there could have been um, somebody in the ambulance yeah. here stepping out. We were really close. Uh, so yeah, I had to actually just steer away there, yeah, okay. So, the, the the first couple you did, they were close, but not close enough. I, I wouldn't class it as a serious fault, yeah, but that one with the ambulance yeah. was... I clearance, guess, uh, when I was doing my lessons, clearance was like kind of a problem as well. Yeah, so, you know the car that you're driving, has your instructor given some kind of reference point to avoid that? Kind of. What? Not like, I think it's in the middle of the car, to yeah. be in line with... Yeah, it's not the same for everyone, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to get him to get you to a position, yeah, mm. um, which is a metre from the from a parked car, okay. I've seen it on a quiet road. And so you can actually judge from, like, outside the car, like, you, you might know what a metre is, but mm. sitting in that seat, it's not, yeah. it's, it's not easy to judge, yeah. So um, you need to get into that position where you're a metre away from a parked car and see what it looks like at the front screen, where it's coming in. Like, you're saying around half, it could be there, it could be somewhere else, okay. So, um a bit of work on that. Uh, mirrors, general like lane changing, overtaking parked cars, brilliant, yeah. But you know when you're parked and you have to move off in traffic, yeah, yeah? you like you don't do any checks at all, uh-huh. yeah. You it's mean like when I'm moving off? Yeah, when you're parked up and yeah. moving off, that's okay, yeah. yeah. But when you're in traffic, oh, yeah, so okay. waiting at traffic lights, it's like yeah. when we you know, when um, we were near that cyclist, yeah. yeah, after we stopped at the lights, mm-hmm. so. Obviously, cyclists has just gone. There could have been another cyclist, yeah. Mm-hmm. Coming to the, Check the mirrors, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not checking any mirrors. And what you do is, when you're waiting somewhere, you like you go into proper relax mode. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you take your hands off the steering. You don't even secure the car sometimes. So your hands off the steering, your car's not secured. Like the handbrake's. Wait, not you on. went for the handbrake up then. When you're waiting for a while, yeah. it's good practice yeah. to to it's put your handbrake up. Yeah. We secure just in case somebody does hit you from the back. Yeah. Yeah, and keep. Keep your hands on the steering just in case, <laughs> like like I said, someone does hit you from there. At least you've got some kind of control of where your car's going to go, mm-hmm. yeah? Okay. Your TV is sometimes sorting at your head and that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, um, yeah, that, what else was there? 
yeah that one time this was a difficult one where there was a car he was looking to park reverse park yeah i thought he was turning left yeah, no, it looks like it yeah it was a difficult one yeah, yeah okay but i could tell the way he hit his brake and he, yeah. he went to the left a bit yeah. a bit earlier yeah okay obviously you need to um and then after that his reverse lights came on and then yeah. that's when you like to just the yeah i just had you to stop yeah. there because i could i could kind of tell what he was, yeah. was yeah. doing yeah but like I said, that was a difficult one for you for, mm. you, for you to judge. And also that roundabout where that car was like blocking me from coming out. Yeah, the right uh, you did okay there. Like just just be careful. It's fine to overtake going yeah. to the other lane. Yeah, so be careful. Like there was one Someone vehicle overtaking you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But luckily you didn't affect him. Yeah. Okay. So it's fine to go into that lane. Check your mirrors. Be sure. Do it. Okay. Overtake. Yeah, because they were obviously blocking that, uh, blocking the roundabout. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fine to overtake, but just just be careful. Um, when we did the emergency stop, how do you think that went? That was my first ever one. You know, done emergency stop. I've never done instructor now. <laughs> okay, right. So that explains why. <laughs> um, it could have been a bit. Your reaction could have been a lot quicker. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot more firmer on the brake. Yeah. Yeah. And after you um, do the emergency stop, you're supposed to. After you've stopped, you're supposed to secure the vehicle. Oh. Okay, and then. Um, when you move off, you're supposed to check all around. We're in the middle of the road. Do you yeah, check all around? No, it's all he just, he's just moved off. Yeah. I guess that was a serious fault there. Okay. Okay. It's like sometimes instructors do leave it right till the end but as well. Least. Yeah. But if you're if you're thinking of going for your test soon, yeah, obviously make sure everything's everything's yeah. covered. Yeah. Okay. And anything that your instructor doesn't cover, I've got it covered in the ultimate driving course. Yeah. Okay. Um, be careful of your mirrors, you know, when two lanes are merging into one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of times where, so say you're in the left lane and there's a right hand lane as well, they're merging into one. Which yeah. mirrors should you check there? Right. Yeah, centre and right, yeah. Yeah. And you didn't check them. Oh. Yeah. Why are they important at that point? Because someone's trying to push in. Yeah, someone could be trying to overtake at the last, yeah. uh, last minute, yeah. Um, are those traffic lights where you're about to go, Asha? I had to actually stop, filter yeah. lights. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't understand what you did there, yeah? Yeah, I think I was just like thinking too much about the turn. I was like, exactly. I saw it and I was about to go. Yeah. Okay. Again, like I said, when you have more than one thing to think about, when yeah. mistakes are happening, yeah. yeah. So that shows you just need a few more lessons mm. to just get a bit more comfortable. Um, lane discipline, you know, when you turned right near the end where there were two lanes, you, you selected the right hand lane, yeah. which is okay, you can yeah. use that lane, but ideally you should be using the left one. So, right. so you exit off in the left, but that was fine. Use the right one, but as you took your turn, you did you, I go into the left a bit? Y yeah, you stayed in the right, but then towards the end, you went to the left, and there was yeah. a silver car there. Oh, okay. So, again, that would be you, you only went over about that much, mm. but still, if there's a vehicle there, you can't yeah. even if there's not a vehicle, you should be staying in your lane, yeah. yeah. But because if that vehicle wasn't there, could have just been a normal driving fault, yeah. Okay, yeah. but that was um, that was definitely a serious fault because there was a car there, yeah. Um, yeah, all well, the others you can obviously watch back in the video, yeah, yep. okay, but hopefully that's uh, helped you out. Yeah, definitely yeah. has. <laughs> Good, so um, yeah, a few more lessons with yeah. your instructor, you know what you need to work on, yeah. roundabouts and clearance. Handbrake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I said, handbrake is there yeah. for a reason, yeah, okay, yeah. you don't have to use it all the time, but when you're waiting somewhere, Most okay, good. and it helps you get your feet ready, okay, yeah. you can have your foot ready on the gas. Your your clutch ready as well, biting point, uh, biting point ready. Okay, okay. so um, yeah, you know what you need to work on, but you're not far off. Okay, you're not far Sorry. off at all. <laughs> Good, and thanks a lot for coming all the way from Huddersfield to do the mock test. Thank you as yeah. well for letting me do it. <laughs> no worries. And guys, like always, hopefully you found that video useful, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.